Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to add different characters, whether it be people, animals, um, you know, whatever the program allows you to put in. Um, I'm going to show you the process of adding those people in. First thing you have to switch to is you have to switch from map editing mode into event editing mode. When you do that, you basically gives you all basically your event squares. Okay, so wherever you want this person to show up on the map, you just double click and it brings up a new event you can see right here. Okay, within the new event, you can see that there is no graphic chosen for this person. So you just double click where it says graphic and then it gives you some different um, options, whether it be different animals, which are right there. Um, I'm going to choose, let's see, I'm going to choose this person right here. Okay, so when I choose that, it shows up as the graphic right here. Now you have the movement style. Right now it shows up as fixed, which means she is going to be a statue. You have the choice of random, which means she is just going to randomly walk around. Or you have approach, which means that when you enter the map, she will approach you. Okay. Um, and then lastly, you have custom. I'm not going to go into custom right now. It's a little bit more high tech. Really, you're either going to have people randomly walking around or approaching you. I'm going to go to approach. And then you have speeds. Now, the speed stands for the speed at which she moves. When she moves, this is the speed she's going to move at. So if you want someone to walk at a normal speed, you just leave it at um, probably normal. Okay. And then frequency means basically how often she does move. Okay, so how often she does move, I like to put that at the highest, which means that she's never going to stop. Um, if you keep it at normal, then she will move, stop, move, stop, and we don't want that. Okay, um, and then trigger. We want this to be, instead of action button, we want this to be on um, player touch. Okay, trigger means what's going to trigger you know this to happen okay so when I have that I'm gonna go test it out so again you have to put the movement in if you don't then it shows up as uh, basically a statue okay so I go to apply I go to OK and then I go to play test and when I do I get into the map and as you can see she is approaching me okay and she'll come and she'll approach me if that didn't happen, she would just randomly walk around. Okay, so again, choose a person, choose what type of movement they have. Hope this helps.